game of colossal importance and a stadium packed to the rafters. We can't ask for any more. How could it be otherwise when two high-level sides go head-to-head -head and toe-to-toe? -to -toe? This is football out of the very top draw. All the action coming up on EA TV. Well, conditions really couldn't be any better here tonight. A very warm welcome to you on this fine evening. I'm Guy Mowbray. Alongside me is the former England striker, Sue Smith. And everything is set up nicely to give us a really good match. Sue, what are your expectations from this? Yeah, cheers, Guy. It's great to be here. I think it's important that both teams are focused from the off, though, and they start quickly. But I'd love to see some goals. Hopefully, I've not just cursed it. And it's cleared away from goal. Here's how the home side lines up. Certainly looks like a 4-5-1 to me. It does look quite defensive, and I'm sure they'll be looking to keep it tight. It is key that the forward holds the ball up well. Whilst he's waiting for those runners, it's going to be hard work for him up there on his own, I'm sure. This is how Arsenal line up. Bakayo Saka starts with Gabriel Martinelli out wide, and the main man leading the attack is Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Martinelli. Well, he's a player that many have been talking about. Will we be talking about him for the right reasons today, though? Yeah, he's an all-round player, but it's his ability on crossing the ball that stands out. The way he can whip it in with so much pace and accuracy, it means that forwards only need to get a touch on it, and it's a goal. Jesus. Working hard to win it back there. That looks like a good advantage played. Munir. Not so much given away as cleverly won. William Saliba. On to Odegaard. Saka. White. Havertz, Saka, Jesus, Bolero, Campania, looks a good ball, strong play as he waits for support, has to be, and still danger here. Jesus. They won't take it from him there. Saka. Ben White. White. Now it needs a good ball in. Using his body well to keep the ball. A promising looking attack, but it's come to nothing. And on that whistle, the first half comes to an end. He hasn't hit the heights we know he's capable of to this point. It can only get better from here on in. There's definitely more to come from him. He's just been a bit quiet, and at times he's made decent runs, but his teammates just haven't found him. I'm sure if he gets a chance in the second half, he'll take it. Well, nothing to split them after a tight and cagey first 45 minutes. Let's hope this second half sees an improvement. A good spell. Looking for that all important next goal. Promising ball. Oh, great block. Erdegaard. Erdegaard. Yeah. 
Rice. Lovely ball. Now what can they do with it? And away from danger it goes. That looks a really good ball. And well read, just as it was looking promising. There's a chance for the breakaway here. And into the box it goes. And the keeper's done really well to keep that out. Campania. Well read to gain possession. Jesus. Lovely ball. This could lead to something. Can he finish? And they've scored the first goal of a tight game. Well, here's the replay, and it's a nice through ball to split the defence. And then once he's through, there was never any doubt, was there? Hits it hard and true, and the keeper just can't react in time. And the game restarts with very little time left for any more drama. Campania. Munir. Well, some here will, of course, be very happy with the score, but a few fingernails to be bitten before the end. It's been a really close game, this. Tight and cagey at times. Not many opportunities. But let's just see how the last few minutes go. They'll be hoping for no silly mistakes at the back. Time running out, can they take advantage from this corner? They've got the corner away. And the game stops with the award of a free kick. And the full-time whistle brings the game to an end with Arsenal the winners. It was a real hard-fought game. Both teams showed moments of quality. They worked hard, but overall, they'll be happy with the results and the performance. Well, as we know, he can be a real handful, and he's certainly been that today. Yeah, he had a good game. He got an important goal, which gave them the lead. And you could just see how confident he was, always wanting the ball and making things happen.